We will talk about eustachian tube dysfunction. It connects nose and ear. And when it's not open and closed properly, we get eustachian tube dysfunction. Why it's important? Because it affects our daily life. For example, when airplane takes off or landing, uh, environmental pressure is changed suddenly and rapidly. And we feel fullness in the air. It happens because of eustachian to dysfunction. Another example is if person has allergic rhinitis and he complains frequently that his nose, his ear is plugged, his ear is full and he feels pressure in his ears. It's because of eustachian tube is closed and we have eustachian tube dysfunction. Another example, if person has common cold or flu or sinusitis, he feels fullness in his ears because of eustachian tube dysfunction. What is mechanism? The main mechanism here is that we have inflammation and infection of eustachian tube and it causes block of airflow and it increases pressure inside middle air and it causes pressure sensitivity, pressure sensation, it causes fullness sensation in the air. Uh, in case of airplane, we have different type of mechanism and mechanism is that uh, normally eustachian tube should equalize pressure, outside pressure and inside pressure uh, because eustachian tube connects nose or environment to middle air and when it is closed it is possible that inside middle air pressure can be higher than environment or opposite, lower than environment and it causes hearing problems, muffled hearing, feeling of fullness and also popping and clicking sound when we swallowing. It means opening and closure sound of eustachian tube. Now let's say what is the most common causes of eustachian tube dysfunction. First and most common cause is allergic rhinitis. Um, eustachian tube dysfunction is very common manifestation of allergic rhinitis and people who have seasonal allergies they frequently complaining uh, fullness in their air. Common cold is another reason and sinusitis is common also and anatomical variations. For example, children have shorten, shorter eustachian tube and infections and inflammation is much easier in uh, shorter eustachian tube. That's why if uh, in children when they have common cold or flu they frequently have also air pain. And uh, now let's say about common misconception. Some persons, uh, some people think that air wax is problem and air wax causes this eustachian tube dysfunction. It's not correct. Air, air wax is formed outside part of the air and this process is happens in middle air. So it's totally different anatomical part of air. That's why it has no connection with cleaning of air or, uh, or air wax because it happens inside uh, air, a middle part of air. And we have here air drum and wax formation happens here. This is difference. Now let's say about management and treatment. Yawning helps, swallowing helps, they open eustachian tube and valsalva maneuver also helps. 
What sort of manner is when you pick your nose and blow with closed mouth, it increases pressure inside eustachian tube and it can open eustachian tube if it's closed. But you should be careful because if you blow too much, high pressure can damage eardrum and it's not good of course, it's danger so you should be careful when you're doing wasawa manure. Also chewing is help uh, especially when you're traveling, uh, when, when you are in airplane, chewing gum helps. Uh, also there is air plugs, special air plugs uh, which can uh, which can weaken, weaken this uh, rapid change of pressure outside pressure and it helps uh, helps to ad uh, adapt your station tube properly and easily uh, this uh, change pressure and using the congestants also effective especially if this problem is caused by infections or allergy or common cold or sinusitis and antibiotics if there is bacterial infection. Also when we have inflammation of um, eustachian tube we also have air pain in many cases. So that's why when person has common cold maybe he has also air pain because they are very tightly correlated. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest, thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.